In this session, we'll look at how we can add annotations to our vehicles using Autodesk Vehicle Tracking. As you can see, I'm currently using Civil 3D. On my screen, I've got a drawing that represents a proposed site plan. Right here, I have created a swept path analysis for a WB40 semi-trailer. Using this path, the trailer enters the parking lot, drives around the building, backs up to the cold storage area, and then pulls back out onto the highway. Let me press Escape. If I zoom in at the beginning of the path, we can see that the vehicle is annotated. However, if I pan around, we can see the other vehicle avatars that show up at the stopping points do not have annotation. Let's look at how we can add labels at these positions. I'm going to do that by selecting the path, and then I'm going to go to the Vehicle Tracking tab, and here on the Swept Paths panel, I'm going to click Report Wizard. Now this probably isn't the best name for this tool. Path style might be a better name. It would be a little more descriptive of what this report wizard controls. Here we can see the current report or style assigned to my path. I'm going to come down and click the next button. And each time I click next, I can cycle through all of the settings that control the accoutrements that are associated with this path. I'm going to step down to the path annotation page. Right here we can see that the vehicles are annotated at the start of the path. I would like to add the annotation at all discrete body positions. If we look right here, I can control the color of that annotation in the forward and reverse direction. Now forward is a nice dark color, that's fine. I'm going to click reverse and we'll make this a little bit different. Let me drag down, I'll choose this red color for right now. I'll click OK and then I'll choose finish. As a courtesy, Autodesk Vehicle Tracking is asking me if I'd like to make these changes the default for future sessions. This means that I could go into that report wizard and dial up my perfect settings and I can use those from now on. In this case, I don't want to change my defaults. I just want to revise this one path, so I'll choose no. If I zoom in now, you can see the annotation on that vehicle at the end of the path. We can also see the annotation here for the vehicle going forward and reverse. When it comes to vehicle annotation, this is not the only place where we can add labels to our vehicles. We can also apply labels within animations. To demonstrate that, I'm going to select this path, and then in the Review panel, I'll choose Animate. And then since this drawing is in 3D, I'll choose the Flyby Camera to get access to the 3D camera controls. Next, we'll add a label to the side of this vehicle. I can do that by going to the Advanced tab. I will double-click on the vehicle path, and you can see there are several settings, things that I can control with respect to this vehicle. If I come down to the bottom, I can add some text that I'd like on the side. I'm going to type Autodesk. I'll press Tab to accept that, and then I'll click OK. I will then click Basic to fold up these settings, and then let's slide this over so we can get a better look. Right here you can see that new label. Now if you're wondering, you can control the font here. This text displays using the current text style. Knowing that, let's make a change. I'm going to close the animation. I won't save the viewpoint. Let's go to the Annotate tab. I will then click the flyout to open up the text style dialog box. Let's take this current text style and I'm going to change the font. I'll open the font menu and I'll tap the letter A to go to that area in the list alphabetically. Let's choose Arial Black and then I'll click Apply and Close. Once again, we'll bring back up the animation. I'll do that by selecting the path. We'll go to the Vehicle Tracking tab, and then I'll click the Animate button. We'll click Flyby Camera, and you can see the change. At this point, I can click the Play button to launch my animation. So the next time you're using Autodesk Vehicle Tracking to create a swept path analysis or animation, try taking advantage of the annotation tools to add a little more clarity to your exhibits. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.